Did it the danger watch behind you? There's a stranger out to find you. What to do? Just grab onto some ducktails. I'm confident that all of you know that the opening song was actually the theme song from DuckTales. Yes, the awesome cartoon from the late 80s that followed Scrooge McDuck and his three great nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, as they went about on their adventures. That request was sent to me via Twitter by DML Fury. And the funny part is I actually spent the better part of the week learning the lyrics to Darkwing Duck for some reason because when I first read the tweet all I could think about was Darkwing Duck. And then I reread the tweet just to make sure I got his name right when I was vlogging and it turns out that it was DuckTales. That was probably one of the best stories I've ever told. As I was learning the theme songs to Darkwing Duck and the DuckTales, it got me all nostalgic and I started thinking about the cartoons that I watched as a kid. Now there's one cartoon I remember watching a lot and that was called The Smoggies and it was a Canadian cartoon and it took place on this coral island and these inhabitants, the island dwellers, were called Sun Tots and the Smoggies were these polluting hunter treasure people and they kept polluting their island and stuff and the sun tots had to stop the smoggies and the funny part is is every time I mention this cartoon to people nobody knows what I'm talking about I think in the US it was actually called stop the smoggies and not just the smoggies and I also know that it was aired in Ireland as well but it was aired in Ireland under the Canadian name the smoggies so maybe some Irish people out there know what I'm talking about if not can you just pretend that you do I greatly appreciate it Thanks. Another one of my favorites from the 80s was Jem and the Holograms. I think most girls like Jem. Actually, if I'm being honest, I totally thought that the Misfits were a better band. And I kind of wanted to be in the Misfits. They just looked cooler. And does anybody remember the Snorkels, which were those like weird alien type guys with the weird things sticking out of their head? I know I probably sound a little nuts. This Halloween, my friend Nick had a pumpkin that was shaped like that and I told him that he needed to carve a snorkel and he didn't even know what I was talking about. Then I made him google it so that he would know what snorkels are and he actually carved his pumpkin like that. I even have a picture. Isn't that amazing? And I was totally impressed that he carved a snorkel pumpkin. I was also a little bit jealous. I'm not gonna lie. There were the Smurfs which I didn't really like and I always thought it was kind of weird that there was one female Smurfette out of all of these male Smurfs. I mean, I know you're not supposed to think about cartoons that much, but it just, even as a child, it kind of irked me a little bit. I never really got into the He-Man or the She-Ra, but I loved the Popples, which were these like fuzzy animal type things and they'd fold into balls and you could actually get Popples, like toys from the toy store. And I remember getting one for my birthday when I was, well, a child and I loved it. I wonder where my papa went. It's not something that I really would have gotten rid of because I like to hang on to a bunch of weird crap forever. And actually now that I think about it, I wasn't a fan of Rainbow Bright either, but I did like the Care Bears. And the last cartoon I'm gonna mention is My Pet Monster. Do you remember this? Basically, it was this monster and he wore these cuffs and when he wore these cuffs, he was like, a stuffed animal for this boy, but if the cuffs were broken, then he could move around and come to life. I remember my brother loved this cartoon, and he actually had a My Pet Monster, like the doll with the cuffs, and he couldn't get to sleep unless the My Pet Monster had the cuffs on his hands. And I remember taking the cuffs and hiding them. Oh, which totally reminds me of Bobby's World. Remember Bobby's World? It was like the best show ever. I loved Bobby's World. I love the mom. Bobby, it's time for dinner, don't you know? I think she was from like South Dakota or North Dakota or something like that. And the cartoon just had so much heart. They always had such rad theme songs to the 80s cartoons. Now when I'm cruising through the TV channels and I stop on like a kid's channel just to see what's going on, just to see what's hip with the youth of today, I'm always really disappointed with what I see. It's always so very blah. I think the 80s was the best overall era for most cartoons. I mean the 50s had the good ones because they had like the Tom and Jerry's come out and stuff like that. But I think the 80s were solid for cartoons. And I'm not just being biased because that's the era that I grew up in. I should end this vlog before I go off on another tangent. That's just how I like to roll on my vlog. I'll see you all again next week for another edition of That Girl Tyson. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. Cause when you're in trouble you call DW. Darkwing Duck, let's get dangerous.